TLC Media Production. I'm going to continue my message, the message that was started last week. Uh, the message is on the power of words, the words coming out of your mouth. We will begin. I will begin by reminding you some of some of the things that were spoken uh, uh, last week. You know, the Bible says that we were made in the image of God. Amen. Amen. So, when you go to heaven, right? When you are looking for God in heaven, don't expect Him to look not like you. <laughs> Amen. Don't look for a puff of smoke, a cloud, a fire. Because we are his children and you are his father. Uh, he is your father. Amen? Amen. So I've got some scriptures to back that up. You see, Ezekiel went up to the heavens in a vision. And when he went up there, he saw millions and millions and millions of beings, spiritual beings. He saw angels and Archangels and all kinds of creatures. There were billions of beings. And Ezekiel said, But there was one who looked like a man. Amen. He was seated on a throne. His body was made, look as if it was made of brass. He looked so powerful. So that is God Himself. Amen. He looks like a man. So you are made in the image of God. Now, he has given us his word, but the word can do nothing until it, it, it comes out of your mouth. That's what we learned last week. So, so let's just remember some of the things. Hebrews 11.3 By faith we understand that the words we live in were framed, fashioned, put in order and equipped for the intended purpose by the word of God. Everything that was made was not made out of nothing it was made out of what was invisible please remember that you see these spiritual beings we are talking about that means the beings that do not live in the fleshly world the beings that we cannot touch with our hands they are invisible and there is an invisible kingdom amen, amen. That, that, that we cannot touch or feel or see just because we can't touch, feel and see doesn't mean that it does, it's, not, it's not there. And faith is a substance, is a spiritual substance. It is an ingredient that God uses to create things. And everything, the Bible says, everything that God created, He created with faith. Now faith is not belief. Believing, you know, the Bible says even the demons believe and tremble. So believing is not faith. Anybody can believe. Faith is a spiritual substance that God puts inside your spirit. Amen. And when you take that substance and you, and you release it out of your mouth, Amen. that substance becomes a, a natural manifestation and will fulfill the intended purpose for which faith was placed in your spirit. Amen. 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 So the things that, that were, are visible were created not out of nothing, but out of something that, was, that is invisible. So we learned last week, Daniel 4.26, that uh, uh, heaven rules over the earth. I'll, I'll read it to you. The command to lead the stump of the tree with its roots means that your kingdom will be restored to you when you acknowledge that, heavens, that the heavens rule. Now here we understood that God wants to give you back your kingdom. Your kingdom is your life, your family, your business, your ministry, your future, your children. Your mind, your body, your health. Amen. Now here God says, the only way that you will receive back the kingdom, your kingdom. You, amen? amen. You know, the Bible says that Jesus is the king of kings. Amen. amen. Yes. So amen. there is a king and then there are kings. Who are these kings? Is it, is it the, the king of Saudi Arabia? Or is it the queen of England? No. We his people, we are he, the kings yes. And he is the king of kings Hallelujah. But you see, every, ki every king has his kingdom yes. You can't be a king if you don't have your kingdom yes. 
So you see, you have the your kingdom must be restored back to you. And you decide what your kingdom is. Hallelujah. Now here the Bible says in Daniel 4, uh, 26, He said, your kingdom will be restored to you if, if and when you believe and you acknowledge that the heavens rule. Amen. Now the heavens uh, uh, here do not mean just a kingdom of light. It means a kingdom of darkness. Yes. You see, we ha- there is a mother planet. Yes. There is a, 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 a creating, a creator planet yes. called heaven. Amen. And then there is a kingdom of darkness. And this little earth we live in is controlled by these two kingdoms. So when we acknowledge and we believe that everything that happens here is a result of these two kingdoms, we are able to navigate our lives in such a way that we will take back our kingdom. That's what it means. But you see, when natural man lives like a natural man, believing that You know, these are just circumstances. These are just things that happen in the earth. Ke sera sera, whatever will be, will be. And he does not believe that the the spiritual uh, uh, realm uh, uh, rules. He is then unable to rule over his kingdom. So the only way you can rule over your kingdom is when you know and you believe with all your heart that the rulership comes from the invisible realm. Hallelujah. This is, I'll tell you, this is the hardest thing to tell people. This is the hardest thing for people to believe. They, they, they believe in God, they believe in the, in the kingdom, but they don't believe that the kingdom rules. They, many people, most people believe the kingdom, the, the, the heavenly realm will help. But I want you to go one step further. The heavenly realm doesn't just help, it rules. Hallelujah. Daniel 4.25 the, the earlier scripture You will be driven away with people And will live with the wild animals You will eat grass like the ox And be drenched with the dew of heaven Seven times will you pass by for, uh, uh, Will pass by for you Until you acknowledge That the Most High is sovereign Over all kingdoms on earth And gives them to anyone he wishes I tell you God is in control Amen, Amen. Until you believe Until you walk in this Knowledge that the heavens rule, that God rules over the kingdoms of the earth and He gives the kingdoms to whoever He wishes. I'll tell you, until then, you will be a nobody. Here it says, you will live like animals. In other words, you see, animals are driven by circumstances. Hallelujah. Are you happy this evening? So, the kingdom, the, the physical earth and all, everything physical was created by this invisible substance called faith. According to Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3. And faith is the voice of God being spoken over nothing. <laughs> Amen. It is spoken over nothing and nothing becomes something. It becomes matter. Amen. I think even the scientists believe that in the beginning there was time, time, space and substance. Amen. Where did this matter come? Where did this substance come from? It came from the mouth of God. Now, the next stage of this understanding is that you are made in the image of God. Above all other creation. Amen. But men, I want to tell you, there is something that God made which might be higher than you. You see, He gives the best for the last. What is the last thing that God created? Woman. (laughs) And you want your kingdom back. And if you are a king, you have to rule over your kingdom. You know the most difficult thing Amen. that I have had to endure or we all have to endure from the day we are born is growing, is growing up. I mean I have two children and I know 
that the most difficult thing they endure is growing up year by year when they go from one class to another class fear comes to them dad i'm going to a new grade i don't know whether i can handle it but then of course they grow into it so growing up is very tough amen you go do your o levels then you do your a levels then you go get your degree and then you get a job and then the most difficult thing you get married <laughs> right and the process of growing up but when you are 50 or 60 you've grown up <laughs> amen the same happens with uh, uh, in the spiritual with you as a christian you know in the in the early days when you're growing up it's hard and one of the things about growing up is this you have to become a ruler Oh I tell you I wish this wasn't true. I wish we could just uh, uh, sit here and cry to God and say God you do it. Do you know that God will not even rebuke Satan? He says I'm giving you my the power. I'm giving you my weapons. I'm giving you the name of Jesus and giving you power of attorney. You do it and I will back you. I wish it wasn't true. I want God to do it all. But you see, that's not the way it happens. Amen. Amen. So if you are to get back your kingdom, yes. let me tell you, you got to grow up. Yeah. We all have to grow up Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Galatians 4, 1 and 2. What I'm saying is that as long as you are as long as an heir is underage. Now he's talking about God's people. He's, he's not talking about physical age. As long as an heir is under age, he is no different from a slave. Although he owns the whole estate, the heir is subject to guardians and trustees until the time set by his father. Amen. 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 Now, if my son had it his way, he'll be driving my car, but. I won't give it to him because he's got to grow into it. You want your kingdom back? Grow into a level of rulership. And this is hard. I want you to understand. This is so hard. Amen. But you and I, we are going to grow into something. Now, I want to give you this this scripture. Joshua one eight. This is the scripture that will change everything. he says the book of the law in other words he said the bible he said this bible shall not depart does it say out of your presence no it says this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth even as everything that god created was created from his mouth he spoke into he spoke words into the into the realm of the spirit he spoke things into nothing and nothing became something amen the power of god i want you to know is not in his physical hands hallelujah it's not in his muscles it's oh. not in his height amen. not in his width amen. but the power of god is in his voice uh, he speaks and what he speaks comes to pass yeah. because the substance of faith is in his spirit and the substance of faith is released into the natural world through spoken words yes how do you see Amen. he's not going to there are times he's not going to speak on our behalf he wants us to speak it because we are no longer children we you know you, you want to be kings you want your kingdom back then grow up Amen. hallelujah hallelujah you no more crying to god Amen. hallelujah, hallelujah. The book of this of the law shall not depart of, of out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night Amen. You want to grow Amen. The word must be the in the meditation of your heart Amen. night and day There are people who are crying to God for the past 30 years Why because they're not following Joshua 1:8 Joshua 1:8 gives us the 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 source code so to speak of growing up 
and growing into a king how do you grow into this kingship you grow into it by the meditation of the word night and day you know i'm telling you god is doing something in our nation he's doing something in the body of christ because for the past 10 years people are seeking church people are seeking worship people are seeking people but there is a time when the time has begun when god is calling people to seek his word because it's only the word of god that will give you back your kingdom nothing else we need church we need worship teams we need singing we need pastors we need men and women of god but i'll tell you it's the word that will give you back your kingdom i mean in the early 90s pastor hepsiba brother benin myself we were in this church we went to this bible school and i'll tell you the focus was not people the focus was the word of god and night and day we meditated on the word of god and we grew exponentially we grew because the word gives you the power to grow you see people seek prayer uh, uh, sri lanka is a very spiritual country asian countries are very spiritual and if you you know people say pray for me pray for me pray for me but you know prayers have their limit when they are not mixed with the knowledge of the word of god the bible says in the last days the the knowledge of the glory of god shall fill the earth it doesn't say the glory of god will fill the earth he says the knowledge of the glory of god amen the knowledge of the word of god will will sweep over the, uh, uh, around the nation amen. and around the world thank you holy spirit thank you thou shall meditate there in day and night thou that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein amen. not only the meditation of the heart now it's saying that you will act on it amen. and you will observe it and you will obey everything 60% 70% 100% i you and i both know we cannot do it but when the holy spirit is upon us you know the bible says how can a young man keep himself from sin oh there's only one way when he takes the word and hides it in his heart the word will keep you from sin you see the word is bread it's life it comes from heaven it's fresh it smells of god smells of heaven amen hallelujah and when you obey what happens for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success i wish i could pray and make you successful but i have to tell you i'm limited i can't pray and make you successful in everything you do The only way you will succeed is by the meditation of the word day and night. Hallelujah. Oh, this, this this is how God has designed it. Amen. Amen. I'm not the word. None of us are the word. Where is the word? The word is nigh thee, even in thy heart and in thy mouth. Amen. It's near you. You know there was a time 25 years ago when we came to Christ. You see, we had to order videos from America, wait one and a half months for these just few videos to come to us. We had to find ways and means of sending money abroad. We didn't there were no credit cards. Amen. So the word was not close to us. Today all you do is take this phone and you can access the word oh mighty god a thousand times over Amen. you can take one word and get a thousand opinions on it Amen. a thousand sermons on each verse yeah. it is nigh thee amen. amen it's you you're holding it in your hands yeah. 